Okay, I've had a number of people ask me about uh, setting up and managing trade alerts in Metastock. Now, I did a short session some time ago, but let me just quickly run through the ins and outs and why you would set up trade alerts, right? It's a great tool to have. It's something that we used to use in the banks, you know, pre-computers and everything else. We had, tr we had alerts, we'd get phone calls all through the night when our uh, positions hit certain levels, right? Mainly to take profit or to check what the market was doing manage options and a whole range of things. All right, so let's just have a look at this because it's, um, as I said, it can be a key strategy when you are looking at the market. Now, if I just bring you over to the charts, let's just say, for instance, as an example, dollar yen, right? So dollar yen, it is in a nice downtrend and I'm keen to get short most of the time. But you know what? If we're using Trendline Trader or Ichimoku Trader, Okay, sometimes it, well, it doesn't factor in where stochastics may be or where momentum is at the time it hits the trend line. So what you might do in this situation, instead of actually displacing an order and hoping for the best, what you can do is set a level like where you might get into the trade. Okay, maybe 10, 15, 20 points away from the, from the current market level. So if the level's there, 140, 30, Maybe setting up one at 141.15 uh, might be a good idea because what that will allow you to do is come back to the market, check the conditions of what's going on, see where stochastics is. If it's overbought, right, and he heading back down, that's perfect, right? But at the same time, if you come back to the screens and you see it coming off an oversold situation, you might be thinking, you know what, let me just give it a bit of a breather give it a chance to blow out some steam and then look for that false break. And if it does pop above, then place your your um, your false break trade back into the market to capture that move back into the trend, right? So you can do this with trade alerts. Now, how do we do this with the trade alerts? So if I just come back to the global markets page, this is the easiest place to do it. So if I'm looking at dollar yen, I just left click on my Metastock global markets page, then right click. You get a drop down menu. Now, there's a whole range of things, but down the three quarters down here, set alert, right? Now, this is where you come in to set up the parameters for uh, the trade alert, obviously. Now, we've already selected the yen. So you can just go in and get a uh, set this up and then you punch in JPY equals or just right click on the instrument. Now, that could be the equities, uh, it could be currencies, commodities, anything for that matter right? So, okay, so let's just look at the various parameters. Now, in this example, as I said, just looking at the um, at the chart once again, just looking at the key levels here. So we've got 141.30 is where the trend line is. So I'm looking at 141.15. I want to get a message there. So the current market is around, say, 140.55. So what I need to do is we want to get the price up to that level. So it's the bid, right? So if I just come back to the uh, alert manager, all I need to do is type in here bid. Okay, you get a few cho choices. The latest bid price, right, is greater or equal to 141.15, right? And now it can be any update, only alert on trading halt or whatever it might be. Okay, so let's just go custom because I want it to be, I want the price to be up at 141.15. I don't want to be bugged outside of that. Now, we can set a few different things with the expiry. Now, um, good till expiry date, which is uh, now till the expiry date, we can set that in place here. So I can sort of set it up depending on your platform's time frame, whether it's 3 a.m. on the date of, let's say, the 18th right? That's when the alert will um, cancel. Now, alert name, I could just put JPY 141.15. Okay, so I know what it is when I get sent the alert. Now, alert frequency, you can either have only once, then pause alert, or if you're not in front of the screens and you've got the screens on and you're coming back and forward, maybe once per minute, once every five minutes, once per hour, once per day. Now, usually, I just like to get one alert. Otherwise, these things just keep going up. Now, you've got a, diff a number of different choices here with the alert notification. Okay, so the toast appears in the corner of your screen without interrupting workflow. 
that can be okay as long as you still hear a sound. And we've got the sound on there, right? So I could have that. I could have the pop-up. Okay, shows the latest alerts over all running applications. Good for interrupting workflow. That's what I would be choosing more to, more often than not. Or you can have get alerted by messages in LSEG Messenger. Now, if you don't have LSEG, well, it may not work for you. So pop up, toast perhaps, and the sound, you can go through and check the sound there as well. Or plus, or, so I say, or and get an email to your email address as it happens, scheduled. You can set up for a specific time, but I like to sort of get my alerts at the time um, and my custom note in case I'm not sure of what's going on. Uh, resistance. Well, maybe it's just like check stochastics before selling. Okay, that's all I want to do. Okay, alert expiry date. Well, we can make it uh, the 18th. Um, you'll receive an email reminder, and then I can just set the alert in play. Okay, so then you've got uh, your alert. Actually, let's go start now. You can manage the alerts in here, right? You've got your, your, your history of alerts. Um, as, it, as I said, if you don't, if you have these things reoccurring, they're just going to keep popping up and popping up until, until the cows come home, right? So you can go ahead and delete all those, delete the 30 selected. And I have got quite a few. Let me delete some more and some more. Okay. So I've cleared the, the deck there. So I can come back in, set another alert. As I said, with, whether it's stocks, uh, any sort of instrument across or anything you might think of. Um, you've got the history, you've got the manage alerts and update the settings. You can change some of these settings uh, to your preferences. But the key part is, okay, when you come back to the screens and say you are keeping an eye on it, you can quite easily pause the alert, okay? Or you can uh, go into the alert and let me just turn it back on and manage the alerts. Well, what have I done there? Oh, I should be able to go in here and actually modify. There it is, just double click on it. You go into the uh, page and you can adjust the level. Say for instance, by the next day, resistance is down at 141.10. So what you might wanna do is come in and put it at 140.95 and then just simply update the alert again. All right, so that's pretty, it's a pretty simple process. Now, just to sort of show you how it would um, ping on my screens, dollar yen at the moment is at 140.48. Let me just put this at 49 and see if we can't get it to alert. And then you can sort of start to see, you know, the toast option, the pop-up, the email that comes through. You get multiple uh, notifications, and that's exactly what we want to happen, Right. Now, this is good for you, especially if you are at work during the day. Like the last thing you want to be doing is keep looking at your phone and seeing, oh, is dollar yen at the right level yet? Is it at the right level? You don't need to do that, right? So set these alerts and then you can concentrate on your work. You can come back, concentrate on the market for one or two minutes, see what the price action is, see what Stochastics is doing. And if everything lines up, well, then you can put your orders in the market or just sell at market. Right, so you've got a lot more control, a lot more um, um, energy over the whole sort of risk management process, and this is going to make things um, really a lot easier for you. Right, so just showing you here where the alert has pop popped up, just actually up here. If I just click on the alert here, the little bell. I don't know why it's not just popping up. It's probably because I'm doing a hosting a webinar. Oh, sorry, it's on the other screen. And there's the alert, right? Triggered at 512. You can see exactly what uh, is going on. Okay, and uh, that's the price. You can, uh, and 34 seconds ago. So you, you get all the details around the alert. It's, it's a great way, as I said, to manage uh, specific levels, especially if you are looking at levels. And you can have multiple... Uh, alerts across multiple instruments, right? This is going to make things a lot easier to track what's going on. And when you're uh, said and done, you can either come back and just cancel the alert or just hit pause, right? You can come back into the alert itself 
hit delete and confirm and that elite that alert has gone and uh bob's your uncle okay so that's how you set the alerts as i said it's nice and easy probably something you should get used to if you are looking to like extend your risk management and make sure you know the trades especially the trending trades are in your favor all right so that's how to set up and manage trade alerts in metastock good luck guys cheerio